Welcome to another episode of the Top of Saw Woodworker. I'm your host, Robert Accardo, and in today's episode, we'll be using something called Lichtenberg Fractal Burning. And I will be uh, using a bowl that I turned on the lathe. Uh, it was a fairly nondescript bowl, and I thought we would uh, use it to try to dress it up a little bit using this process, again, called Lichtenberg Fractal Burning. Uh, this is my first time doing this. It's experimental for me, but I just thought I would share my experiences. Uh, if you decide to try this, remember this is not an instructional video. Uh, I'm just sharing my experiences. Uh, if you decide to try it, realize that you do so at your own risk because there is a certain amount of danger involved as it does involve the use of high voltage electricity. We'll be using a transformer and uh, uh, some electrolyte solution to create a pattern from electricity in wood. So let's take a look at how it happened, how it turned out. Looks a little better. That's a successful burn. See if we can get some marks on the other side. Much better. That's another successful burn. Apparently I wasn't putting enough of the solution and not getting good enough contact. Try one more time. Okay, I think we got this figured out. Okay, well as you can see, that's pretty exciting. Uh, what did I learn from it? Well, uh, mostly to let the electrolyte solution soak in a little longer. Uh, and of course, it's a very random process. You don't know what you're gonna get until you get it. You don't know where the designs are gonna take place, but here's the finished product. I'll get a little closer so that you can see some of the designs that was created by the Lichtenberg Fractal Burning. As I stated previously, this is not an instructional video. I'm hardly qualified to do that, but uh, you might do some research on it. It's very interesting. Uh, we enjoyed it. One thing, if I was going to do it again, I think I would use some very heavy rubber gloves, uh, what some people call gas station gloves, uh, just for safety. Uh, I think it's safe enough, but you have to make that decision for yourself. Thanks for watching. It's a bald eagle flying over my barn. here on the top of Saw Creek. <laughs>